Alrighty room. Hello my lovelies. Oh, welcome to Pilates with Friends. Ash workout. Ash workout, Pilates workout. Alrighty, we've got a fun set today. All we're gonna need is your mat and we're gonna use some weights today to get the heart rate up and a bit of strength. So grab some dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, again, you can use some filled water bottles, cans of food, whatever, soap, dispensers, whatever feels good for you. Um, otherwise, if you don't wanna use weights either, everything can be done without it. So give it a crack, it's just get a bit more of a sweat happening. So I've got my dumbbells here and I've got my mat. Make sure you've got some water handy as well. I'm going to be taking frequent drink breaks. All right, let's start with a nice stretch here, everyone. So we'll come down on our backs. This is a bit dirty, sorry. I'm going to come down on our backs. Have one dumbbell close by. And we're just going to start with some nice hip circles here. So laying down on our back. Bend your knees up. Hands come on the front of the shins. And all we're gonna do is circle our legs out and around, separating them, circling them around, and then back together. Opening up through the hips here. Massaging through that hip joint. Oh yes. Go up with our flexibility. Let's change direction. Other side, oh yeah. Perfect. Bring those legs back together. Feet are gonna come down on the mat. Keep the feet together and you're just gonna let the knees fall out wide. There's that little butterfly stretch here. Again, helping us open up through those hips, stretching out through the inner thighs and our groins. Oh, and just let the knees fall. You might even lengthen your arms right up overhead. And just take some nice deep breaths here. Inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Feeling that belly rise and fall. Each time you exhale, letting those knees fall a little bit further. Perfect. From here guys, keep your legs in the same position. You're just gonna grab on to that dumbbell. Now, if you've got a heavy one like me, I'm just gonna use one. If you feel like it's too light, you can always grab both. But we're gonna get a bit of a sweat on here. So straight away, we're gonna start with our butterfly crunches. So I'm holding my dumbbell, one head and either hand. From here, you're gonna crunch up, reach that dumbbell up between your legs, crunch up and control back down. Weight comes back overhead. Crunch up, lower down, weight comes overhead. Now, wherever your knees are, depending on how flexible you are, if your knees can drop a little further, let them drop all the way down and keep those heels nice and close. Otherwise, like me, my hips are so inflexible and my feet need to be shuffled a little further away from me. And now let's wake up those abs a little more. Really concentrate on drawing that belly button in as you crunch up. Control that roll down. Try to lift a little higher each time. The closer your heels are to your bottom, the more difficult this will be. So find that juicy point for you. Let's go 15 more seconds. We're gonna hold up this crunch. Let's go in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold up this crunch, hold. Can we just weigh that way up and down? Up and down. If you can, bring it up overhead. Mine's a little heavy here, just for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it come all the way down. Weight can come down. Oh, perfect. Oh, hello abs. We're gonna roll now onto our 
left side, just your legs. Your back is gonna stay as flat as it can on the mat and your chest is gonna be up to the sky. Gonna work through some side crunches straight away. So we're really firing up the abs here. Side crunches. So left hand's gonna come behind your head. If your knees are facing left, that is. And your right hand is gonna be the one waving as you crunch up, waving it over your hip. And back down. Waving over and back down. So you're trying to reach those fingertips towards those toes and try and focus on having that chest up towards the sky the whole time. And you're really trying to peel that left shoulder blade up off the mat. You should feel that burn coming into that top waist through those obliques. Now pat it in that hand long is uncomfortable. Have both behind your head and work through that exact same motion. Exhale as we crunch up. Inhale to lower. Let's go 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. Get those obliques burning here. We're gonna hold this up in five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, just pulsing. Can you reach that arm long? Trying to reach those fingertips towards those toes. Squeeze into those obliques for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Whew. Roll straight back onto your back. Oh, all right, because those obliques are being worked. Let's work through both of them here before we move to the other side. Got our little heel taps. So from here, we're just gonna crunch up. Reach those fingertips towards the heels. So you're gonna twist to one side, then to the other. One side, then to the other. Tapping onto the side of your foot and holding up that crunch the whole time. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, squeezing into the side of the waist each time you reach. Just here for 20 seconds. Can you reach those fingertips any further? Just 12 to go, let's go. Keep that crunch up just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one lower down. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, my abs are already dead. Oh, but we know what's coming. Just roll straight to your right side. I'm just gonna roll over to my right side so you can still see me. So both knees over, stacked on top of each other. Back is laying flat down on the mat and your chest is up to the sky. From here, right hand is behind your head. Left hand's gonna be long to start with and we crunch up reaching over your hip towards your toes and back down. Trying to keep that chest right up to the sky. And each time you crunch up, think of lifting that right shoulder blade up off the mat and squeezing into that top waist here. Should feel a couple of wrinkles there in that tummy on the side. Now again, if the hand long is not for you, have both hands behind your head. Oh yeah, crunch it up. Let's go 15 seconds here guys, really get those obliques on fire. I know there's a lot of abs to start, but we will give them a solid break. Oh, we're holding up and we're pulsing in 10 seconds. Oh, keep it up. In five, four, three, two, or one. Hold it up and just pulse for me. Let's go. Try and get those wrinkles in that waist. Feel those obliques helping really squeeze up. Reach those fingertips long. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Oh, roll straight onto your back, everyone. Oh, and let's just take a quick stretch. Let's roll those knees from one side 
I want you to open your arms wide, look over to the opposite direction, rock them straight over to the other, and look the other direction. Oh yeah. Oh, quick reset. Oh god, I can't sit up. Jesus. Alrighty, let's get up off our back. Get ready to get into those legs and get that heart rate up, shall we? So, we're going to start with some sumo squats here. And this is going to come into our cardio. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. Beautiful. Alrighty, so we're going to start with some sumo squats here. So, I'm going to use one dumbbell, but feel free to use both. I'm going to face you. So, I'm holding one dumbbell here. Feet are going to be nice and wide, toes slightly turned out. Hold the dumbbell or the weight just in your chest to begin. And I'm going to squat down and straight back up. Down and up. So knees tracking out over those toes. I'm just going to do this on the side so you can see. Sitting that bum back and down. Squeeze the glutes at the top. All right, we're going to add in that weight. Next time we stand up, overhead press right up. Back to the chest, right up. Nice and explosive at the top. Nice and controlled. On the way down, weight through those heels. As you sit back, push through those heels to stand up. Should be able to wiggle those toes up off the mat as you sit down into that squat. Picking up that pace a little to get that heart rate going. 15 more seconds here. We're gonna come straight into a little burpee sequence. Not as bad as it sounds, I hope. Let's go in six. We're gonna hold down that squat. In three, two, and one. Hold it down this time. Place that weight down on the mat. Hands come down flat. Jump out. Jump back in. Pick up the weight. Stand up. Overhead press. Squat down. Down. Jump out. In. Pick up. Press. Down. Up. In. Pick up. Press. Rinse and repeat. Going as fast as you feel challenging for you. Let's go 15 seconds. We have got this. I'm gonna hold that plank to finish it off. Let's go in 10. Last five, four, three, two, one. Jump out on that plank, hold. Now to breath here. This is where you draw that belly in, squeeze those glutes. Hold that plank for eight. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down. Awesome work. Oh, just saying that to myself, because I'm struggling. Grab a sip of water. Slowly let that heart rate come back down. Yeah. Mm. Cardio, hey. Alrighty. While we're on the legs, let's get a bit more leg action. Again, guys, one dumbbell or double if you feel like you can. Try one first if it feels too light. You can always adjust back to two. Adjust forward. But I just want you to see me. Great, so still a bit of legs. We're gonna work through some lunges and then we're gonna add in little oblique twists because our obliques are already feeling fab. So start at the front of your mat, hold your dumbbell so it's vertical, so both hands are on. Just gonna keep it at the chest to start with. Left foot is gonna stay forward, right is gonna step back into our lunge, push through that left heel, standing all the way up at the top. Lunge down, push through, stand up. Just starting with the lunge here first. 
nice and slow. I want to get this control here and really waking up that booty on this left side. Got to get those quads as well. Keep that torso up nice and tall here as well. Really make sure you power through that left heel extend all the way up rather than the back leg. 10 more seconds. I'm gonna add in these arms. In five, let's hold down this lunge. In three, two, one. Hold it down, you're gonna reach that weight forward, arms straight, rotate towards that front leg. Twist it back, whoa, lost my balance. Bring it back to the chest to stand up. Lunge down, reach your arms forward, twist, back forward, stand up, reach the chest. So you're twisting towards that front leg here, same direction every time. Draw that belly in as you rotate. Force those obliques to do the work here. Oh, as well as those shoulders. 15 seconds to go. Holding down that lunge. Just working through that rotation. In five, four, three, two, and one. On this one, hold it down. Just that rotation here. Left and forward. Keep it up. 10 seconds, can you go a little deeper in that lunge? Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stand it up. Oh my gosh. Oh, dumbbells down, rolling out those shoulders, just for a moment here. Grab a sip of water, just one second. So can you grab my computer charger for me? Yeah. And just plug it in there. Computer's gonna die. Oh. Alrighty guys, we'll give those legs a breather. Let's work into some arms while we're here. So I want you to use both your weights. If you've got quite heavier ones, just work with one. I'm gonna work with one here. It's just got, I've got five kilo dumbbells, just so you know. Thank you, assistant. <laughs> All right, so just come down onto your knees. We're gonna start just with our bum off the heels. If it ever gets uncomfortable, hi. <laughs> up on those knees, just drop your bum all the way back to your heels. We're gonna start with some chest flies here. I'm gonna start with just my one dumbbell. I'll start with both and I'll show you. So, slight lean forward, stick that booty out so the glute booty is on. All we're gonna do, have those Weights down forward to start. You're gonna fly one out and back down. The other out and back down. Really fly, feel that squeeze into that shoulder blade. And back down. Now holding two is too much. Option with single, same thing, open, and just swap it to the other hand as it comes forward. Otherwise, if you've got something quite light, work with both. Keep the, bottom, the water bottle in the hand, fly both out, up to you. Still working the same thing. Now you wanna see that squeeze into the shoulder blade as you open. Think of a walnut between the scapula and try to crack it each time you fly those arms out. Slightly forward, squeezing that booty. 15 seconds here. We're gonna hold that dumbbell forward. Really fly it out, exhale. Let's go in five. Relax those arms down in four, three, two, last one. One, perfect. Now holding both weights again, or that one dumbbell. I'm going to do overhead this time. Hands come up overhead and back down. Up and 
back down. Now again, if this gets any pain in that lower back, bum can come down, work through the exact same thing. Really control that lift up and control that lower down. Not here for long. Let's go 12 more seconds. I'm gonna hold that dumbbell up, finish with our triceps. In four, three, two, one. Hold that dumbbell up, hug those elbows nice and close to your ears, bend that dumbbell back behind your head, squeeze it back up. Slide lean forward here. Oh yeah, mind and body straight away. Oh, let's just go 15 seconds here to finish it off strong, guys. Should be getting that good burn behind the arms. Last 10. All right. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those arms down. Oh my gosh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just gonna make this, oh, this is all working still. Oh, oh perfect. How many breaths of our water? Rolling out those shoulders, guys, so we know what's coming with our second round of our legs. We can do this. We can start sumo squats into our burpees. So, Holding that dumbbell nice and low. Sorry, at your chest. Legs wide, toes turned out. Sit that bum back and down. Stand it up, squeeze. Down, stand up and squeeze. Really push through those heels as you press up. Sit that bum back and down as we squat. Knees tracking out over your toes. And let's add in that overhead press at the top. Ooh. Picking up that pace. Let's get that heart rate back up. Oh yeah. 15 seconds guys. Holding down our squat. Coming straight into our round of burpees. We've got this in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold down your squat. Dumbbell comes down onto the ground. Hands come flat. Jump out. Back in. Grab the weight. Press it up. Down. Jump out. In. Explode up. Overhead press. Down. Rinse and repeat, guys. Going as fast as you like to where you find this challenging here. Keep this up, we are so close. Holding that plank, 12 seconds. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jump into that plank, hold. Fatigued. This is where we hold strong. Draw that belly in. Squeeze those glutes. Keep your hips low for five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down. Oh yeah. I felt that. Oh. Sorry guys, my charges aren't working, so I'm just trying to get them to work here. But yes. So you can hear my excessive breathing. Great. Let's come to our second round of lunges. So from here, right foot is forward this time. Left foot is going to lunge back and down. Press through that heel to stand up at the top. Back and down. Press through that heel to stand up at the top. Keep that going guys. Sorry. Something's just stuffing up with my phone. Oh good. Press up at the top, really push 
through that front heel as we stand. Just 15 seconds here. And we're getting ready to add those arms. Oh yeah. Keep that torso up nice and tall. And really think about that back knee coming down nice and low. In five, we're adding in those arms. In four, three, two, and one. Next thing we lunge down, reach that. Those arms nice and straight, rotate out to the right. Back in, stand up tall. Lunge down, reach forward, rotate out to that front leg. Stand up, bring the weight back to the chest. 15 seconds here, guys. Before we hold it down. Just working through that twist to finish it off. In five, four, three, two, one. On this one, guys. Hold down that lunge. Reach your arms forward. Just that rotation. Let's go. Draw that belly in. Feel those obliques. Really doing the work here to help with that twist. Shoulders should be on fire too. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Oh my gosh. Shoulders are dead. Awesome stuff. Alrighty. We're just going to finish final exercise here to slow that heart rate down. Bring it all back before we take a nice stretch. So finishing off, finish off with some calf raises. I'm gonna use one weight here again. Up to you what you like. Just holding it low to start. Feet about hip distance apart. And let's just start by raising up onto those toes and back down to the heels. Nice and controlled. Up and down. Really think about putting even weight through all 10 of your toes here. So you're pushing through those big toes as well, not just out on those pinky toes. My calves are already on fire. Really try and hold it for one count at the top before you lower down. Now, if you'd like to add in that weight, next time we come all the way up, raise it up overhead as you lower down, bring the weight all the way back down. Lift up, raise overhead. You can't really see the weight, but you know what I'm doing. And back down. Raise up. Oh my gosh. Fatigue to losing that balance. This is where we stay strong, guys. Strong mind to muscle connection here. Embrace the wobbles, embrace the shakes. Let's go 10 more seconds. We're gonna hold that raise just halfway and finish with little pulses. If you can, raise that weight up overhead. Let's go. Ooh, In six, five, four, three, two. On this one, raise up, hold halfway. Little pulses up and down. Cool. Hold that weight up. Shoulders should be on fire here. Don't let those heels come all the way to the ground. Just big squeezes up and down. Just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ow. Oh, weights can go down. Ouch, 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 ouch. Awesome stuff. Shake it out, shake it out. We're going to take a really nice stretch here. Guys, so from here, just take a step to the back edge of your mat. Taking a nice roll down. We'll stretch through those calves first. So let's peel all the way down towards your toes, reaching down towards the mat. And just alternate by bending through one knee and then to the other. From here, walk your hands out. We're going to come into our downward dog position. So we want our hands flat. Get your hands flat first, and then you're gonna shift your weight backwards into those heels. So your head comes down between those arms. 
really try to lengthen out through that spine and now I'll start pedaling out those heels push one heel all the way down as you bend through the opposite knee and then to the other oh yeah that feels good Press both heels back, walk those hands back up. We're going to take a little stretch through the side of the body for those obliques. Right hand's going to stay down flat. Let's open up that left hand right up to the ceiling and twist. You may even bend through that right knee here as well. Walking up towards that hand. Coming back down to center. One more big stretch here. Inhale to prepare. Big exhale, same side. And bring it back. Let's go to the other side, guys. Left hand stays flat. Open up that right hand. Let's bend through that left knee as you open up. Looking up towards the sky. Bring that hand back down one more. Big inhale. Exhale. As you open up and twist. Bring that hand back down. Walking all the way out, bring those knees down. Just gonna come into a pigeon stretch. I want you to slide that left knee up towards your left hand. Bring that foot underneath your hips. So it's like you're thrusting forwards towards your foot. Back leg goes nice and long. Now you can keep your hands flat here or otherwise come down onto those forearms and let that weight really push down into the leg. Should get a nice stretch to the side of the hip here. If you want to make this more intense, you can always continue to try and bring that foot further forward. That'll get it really deep. Just another six seconds here. Three, two, one. Hands come back flat, sliding that back. And let's move straight to the other leg. Right knee comes up. Bring that foot underneath the hips and let the hips fall forward onto that foot. Coming down to those forearms, find that nice juicy spot for you here. Back leg nice and long. Last five. Three, two, and one, sitting all the way up, just crossing those legs. Finish with some nice shoulder rolls here, backwards and forwards and some little head rolls. Oh yes. Otherwise, you are all done guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Any feedback, please let me know. Otherwise, take any other little stretches you like. Oh, hope you're all feeling like that was a solid workout, like I definitely did. Oh, see you next time.